Hey, what's going on guys? Squid here. Sorry it's been a little bit since I uploaded or um, practical a little bit since I done a Greenville video, but I'm back with another video. So yesterday night Greenville actually had um, probably their biggest update since the revamp came out. Um, they had their Halloween update. There'll probably be a few more updates um, before Halloween, maybe like one more or something, but I, I don't know for sure. For sure but, um, they added some Halloween decorations. They changed the whole map to look more autumn. Like you could kind of see the colors of the trees have changed it a little bit. Um, so anyways, in this update, they added a lot of stuff. They added an autumn map. They added a new building, which I'll show you in a minute. They added a spotlight feature on all the police cars and seven new cars and a few um they updated a few other cars too so i'll show you the um what they added so anyways they added seven new cars but as you see you see like 11 cars here well seven of these are new cars and the other four are just cars that they updated so uh this chevy right here and this ford uh crown vic i think that's like a police police car or something and this 2014 ford f-150 right here and the nissan cube so these four got updated and the rest are cars that was just added in the game so the rest are new cars right here so <laughs> uh don't get too mixed up by that so anyways i'll just show you the four updated cars just for the hell of it right now real quick so anyways yeah they updated the chevy right here um this chevy state patrol whatever um does still require the state patrol pass but there are two trims both of them just cost nine thousand um all you really need is just <laughs> a game pass to get this i think the patrol pass costs like 75 robux or some same with this this requires um the patrol pass too so the 2001 ford crown vic uh state patrol i think <laughs> anyway so yeah this one comes in a few trims so this comes in about four trims so uh they all cost ten thousand five hundred dollars and they updated the uh, um, 2014 Ford F-150, I think this is an F-150, two trims. So one cost 28000 and the other cost 18500 And the last car they updated um, is the Nissan Cube. So I've done a video on this one, I swore. Um, yeah, so believe it or not, this comes in 12 trims total. So we got the S-Cargo for seven grand. We got the um, Nismo for twenty grand, and I don't think I don't think most of these trims actually exist in real life. But I think the developers of this game just really liked the Nissan Cube or something, and then they just decided to um, make like a regular Nismo pickup truck version. <laughs> So I'll go through these cars in a minute, but first of all, I'm gonna just show the minor changes. So they did add a new building. So I'll show off the new cars in a minute. I'm just using my Urus to just show you guys like the new map. So yeah, they updated the map. They changed the color of the trees. I think they slightly changed the color of the grass. Yeah, it definitely looks more autumn. Um, anyway, so the new building, you go over here, you just uh, take our left turn at the dealer and then you just keep going straight down this road and you'll see the pizza place called Hunty's Pizza Palace over here. So this right here is the new building they added. It's a pretty small building, uh, nothing too big, but I'll just show you guys the inside real quick. By the way, guys, uh, the Greenville developers still haven't fixed that glitch where um, you, you can't use the arrow keys to turn your character when you're walking or running bum. And this, here's what it looks like. Um, it's more, it kind of looks like Chuck E. Cheese, I guess, but uh, these arcade machines do not work, unfortunately, but yeah, nothing too big, just a new building. <laughs> so guys, last but not least, um, the, for the minor changes that they added, they also added spotlights for all police cars. So I couldn't quite figure out how to do the spotlights, but as far as I know, um, I think, I think you either click the L, Z, X, C, or, um, or F for like different lights, it says, um, like it doesn't really say anything about spotlights, but I'm guessing it has to do with like different lights as you can see, so... Click one of those keys, I doubt it's F, uh, maybe it's F. I <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the new cars. So, the first car they added, and probably the cheapest out of all of them, is the 2001 Ford Crown Vic uh, Security right here, as you can see. So, we're going to spawn this real quick. So, anyways, uh, yeah, th I like these things, they're cool. Um, not as much as the Lincoln Town car, which is the more luxurious version of these, but these are pretty cool. Um... So, this does not require any pass. It does not require this, um, the state patrol pass. So, anyways, uh, fits five people. Let's just enter it. So, this is a lights turn signals. Didn't really do a, the best job. Um, 
Anyways, it does have pretty good acceleration, actually. Um, I thought it would be worse, because <laughs> this car ain't that um, expensive, so. Anyways, uh, yeah, it has pretty good acceleration, actually. Um, let's just see the top speed real quick. Um, by the way, guys, I'm going to try to go through these quickly, because there's just a lot to cover in this update. So, it has a top speed of 150 miles per hour. So, this does not have a siren, but if you click F, the F key, it shines that... Uh, that kind of a siren up there, I guess you could call it. I forgot what those are called, but it flashes those orange lights if you hit F. Anyways, this car costs $9,500. does not require any pass, so if you want to sell it, you could sell it for $8,200. So, yeah, I would say you lose about $1,100 or $1,200, something like that. Alright guys, the next car we're going to spawn is the 2013 Volkswagen Beetle right here. So, anyways, uh... Yeah, this thing does not require any passes, but it this does come in trim, so I forgot I forgot how many trims it comes in, but it costs anywhere from $9,850 to $13,200, so I got the $13,200 or the turbo trim right here, so and as I'll just spawn this, honestly, this might be my favorite out of the seven cars they added. I mean, yeah, they added a Porsche, but I honestly like this better, um, so anyways, yeah, this thing is awesome, actually, um, I love these things, um, <laughs> I mean, they're not my favorite car in the world, but definitely one of my favorite Volkswagens. So, anyways, this thing fits four people, so let's just enter it. Has a pretty typical Volkswagen um, startup chime, so... Anyways, they, they mastered the lights on this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they did a really good job on these lights, actually, especially the back ones. Maybe not the turn signals, but the back uh tail lights they did um so anyways um this thing actually has really fast acceleration um it makes sense because i got the turbo one it has a dual exhaust but <laughs> pretty surprised um i mean this only costs thirteen thousand. um <laughs> i might actually keep this thing actually this thing, thing is pretty cool anyways it has a top speed of 144 miles per hour you get 11,000 back so i would say you lose about probably 1800 or something like that i can't really do math all right, guys, the next car we're going to spawn is the 2003 Bronson's Boxy um, 1500 um, DOC, something like that. Um, this is based on the GMC Savannah van. I think this is some kind of police van. So, anyways, um, this re does require the State Patrol Pass in order to get. So, anyways, I'm um, not such a big fan of these vans. They look kind of boring, <laughs> but... Uh, this is the police fan, I guess, so it does, um, retail for exactly 17 grand, so, um, anyways, I'll just enter it, so, does not have much of a startup time, so, anyways, they did a terrible job on the lights, actually, for 17 grand, even the, even the Beetle for, like, 13, like, <laughs> uh, 9 grand to 13 grand is way better than this, so, I forgot to mention, this thing does fit a total of 6 people, so a few people, um, like, <laughs> 4 people back in the bed right there, so, anyways, um, there's a horn, it's the weirdest horn I've ever heard, <laughs> alright, so, this thing has slow acceleration as I expected, actually, um, it's better than I thought, actually, I thought it would be a lot worse, this does have a siren, um, Yep, right there. <laughs> so it has a top speed of um, 97 miles per hour. I almost said like 100. You get about almost 15 grand back. So I would say you lose about 24, um, 2200, I would say. All right, guys, next car we're going to spawn is the 2019 Ford Escape Security right here they added. So anyways, this thing does not require any pass, but it does not come in any trim. So it costs 25,000 exactly. So Anyways, um, I'll just give you guys what um, a tour of what it looks like. So, yeah, it's just the Ford Escape, except except it has, like, a siren or those flashing lights. I don't know if it does have an actual siren that sounds, but it also says security on the side. And it has a bit of uh, security information on the front hood, as you can see. But, anyways, so for the seating capacity, it actually fits a third row, it appears. So, <laughs> I'm guessing it fits between six and seven people, I would say. It's hard to go in the middle there and check without... <laughs> Having your character, like, do weird stuff, so... Anyways, let's just enter. Has a typical startup. They nailed the lights, that's for sure. I think it's Fords, man. <laughs> uh, especially the new ones. Um, anyways, they did an okay job on the front ones. Not the best, but... Um, anyways, yeah, they did add um, pretty cool-looking lights. Um, the flashing lights on top. So, it has kind of gentle acceleration, honestly. So far, this is probably the slowest acceleration out of the seven cars. Um, I haven't reviewed the other yet, but... Um, 
And as it is pretty slow. Forgot to chill the horn. That's a top speed of 113 miles per hour, so yeah, pretty slow. You get 21, almost 22 grand back, so I would say you lose about uh, $3,200, um, but you can make that easily. So anyways, uh, next car we're going to spawn is actually the 2019 Ford Escape, so the regular Ford Escape. So <laughs> anyways, uh, this thing costs anywhere anywhere from 24500 to 32600 It does come in trim, so... Uh, I got mine in the 32600 the titanium trim, I think I saw. Um, it does not require any pass, obviously. It is a basic car, so... Anyways, um, yeah, it's just basically the same as security, except it does not have the security features, and it um, comes in nicer colors, so... So yeah, if it's between 6 and 7, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, these lights, I think, look better than the security one. Has I do like that Ford, Ford startup chime. It does have a sunroof. I think uh, this is only included with, like, a higher trim, depending on what trim you get, obviously. Uh, the acceleration is a little bit better than the security, but not by much. There's a horn. So, uh, yep, it definitely goes faster than the security one. Um, has a top speed of 123 miles per hour, so it goes, like, 10 seconds faster than its security version. So, 28,000, uh, I would say back. So, yeah, you lose about four grand, I would say, about... Uh, next car is the 2017 Ford Super Duty, or the Ford Advance Extra, um, WSP. So, this is basically, um, a Ford Super Duty police truck right here. So, let's just spawn this. This does require the State Patrol Bass. Again, it's 75 Robux. It's not very much at all. So, <laughs> um, I don't think it comes in any trim, so it costs exactly 34 grand. So, anyways, um, I'll just give you a brief tour of it. So, yeah, it's... Um, just a uh, Ford Super Duty. Um, yep. <laughs> State Patrol. It fits five people, and it does not fit any people in the bed. Um, there's like a few items back there. <laughs> um, and let's just enter real quick. Has Ford startup. Lights. The horn is so creepy. <laughs> Alright, they did a good, fair job on the front ones, but the back ones don't look good at all, so... <laughs> Anyways, let's just get the speed of this over with. It does have lights as well as a siren, so there's that. So, let's just get the acceleration of this. So, the acceleration is pretty fast once it gets going. I mean, kind of slow on the um, when it starts to get going, but when it gets going after like a few seconds, it's really fast, actually. It goes 112 miles per hour. Pretty fast, actually. Better than I expected, so... <laughs> Anyways, let's see how much you get if you wanted to sell this $34,000 car, so... If you wanted to sell it, you get 29 grand back. So I would say you lose about 4,500. So guys, last but not least out of the seven is the 2017 Porsche 911 right here they added. So I'm glad they added another Porsche actually because the only other Porsche they have in this revamp so far is the um, Taycan Electric. So I know that spawn this. So this does require the sports pass and it costs like 500 Robux. So it's yeah, a bit pricey. And this car is also a bit pricey. It costs um, <laughs> uh, between 83,500 to 103,650. So yeah, a bit more on the pricey side, but <laughs> Um, I think it's worth it. So, anyways, it, this thing looks pretty sick, honestly. As I said, my um, favorite car out of the seven has to be the Beetle, but I do like this thing. It's pretty cool. So, it fits four people for the capacity. Yeah, startup is awesome. Has the same chime as the Taycan that's already in the game. They master the turn signal, that's for sure. Look at those. A bit hard to see. Um, yeah, there's the front ones. Um, there's a horn. Alright, guys, I'm gonna floor it, so... <laughs> Uh, you want to look very closely, guys, when this car reaches about around 70 miles per hour, because it does actually have a working spoiler on it, which is pretty cool. Same with the take on electric, but anyways, three, two, one, go! So, look very closely at the spoiler, guys. Uh, there, did you see it? Yep, it actually has a working spoiler on it, which is really cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think as far as I know, the Porsches in this game are the only cars so far. Um, there's probably a bit more, but... Um, only cars, as far as I know, that has working spoilers, so, has a top speed of 207 miles per hour, so, yeah, um, if you want it this fast, you gotta get the higher trim, which costs 103 grand, so, <laughs> anyways, so, if you wanna sell this 103 grand car, you get about 
90 grand back, so yeah, you lose around 13 grand, I would say, so. Anyways, I think that wraps it up for all the cars they added. So guys, just wanted to do something silly to end the video, so um, I actually got the highest trim of the Nissan Cube trims that they added, so. Uh, um, as I said, none of this actually exists in real life, but I think the developers just like the cube a lot, so. Anyways, um, yeah, this was a pretty good update, actually. Definitely the biggest update since the revamp came out, but. Anyways, I'll put some pictures up on the screen of more of the auto map you could find around the map, um, stuff like that, and. <laughs> uh, this update's pretty good, actually. 